YouTube and it, it's Ham Studios here back with another video and today it's time for the long anticipated Titanfall 2 Mega Showcase. I posted like a trailer when I first started my YouTube channel. Now since then you guys have been listening to all my other vids so you probably should have seen that by now. So let's go hop straight into the video. Here we have a grunt. I have two of these, just but I have a few more. Just have two to show. I've got printed on the back using the power miner tool, so it's actually pretty sweet since these are their arms. I use the recon Star Wars helmets since they're actually sort of accurate. Printing on the legs. Got standard Star Wars blaster as a R101 carbine, and that's pretty much that. Here is the second grunt, pretty same as the other one. Same, pretty much same printing. And that's it. So the first one of our parts, we have a grapple, simple printing. Got the Spitfire there. Got the jump pack. Just pretty simple guy. And yeah. So for the next one we have a um, face shift, We've got the jump pack, oh, sorry, um, more print, simple printing, got the alternator here, clean clear, which is actually pretty sweet, and so that's the face shift. For team 2 I have um, a hang on, stim, yeah. Got the jump pack as always, SMG, um, simple printing, and I made a custom head for it. Simple. And now for the final pilot of the Mega Showcase. Here is the final pilot show, final pilot of the Mega Showcase. Got backpack, jump pack. Got the arm, so the, as this is a cloak. Got a better version of the R101, and I just made a special custom helmet. It's one of the, it's like the old Hero Factory helmet, but Evo's one. So I just customized that up. So that's that. Now, here are the mini tutorials in this showcase. So we have the grapple grapple line we have a tick and a bank so I put these aside and I'll show you how to build the um, grapple grapple I'm just gonna call it that for now so for the grapple we need two of these long chains, one robot hand, a T-bar, and a one by one plate with a clip on top. So, first you want to get one of these. You just get this with the robot hand, fit that through the hole right there, right in there. And then this will just simply clip on the end. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, actually, yeah, it will clip on like that. So, you can have a star that will clip to that, or a bar that will clip to that, and the chain will still hold. So, then you want to get your other thing, attach it on the end, like so, and then at the end of that, you'll get this, and just fit it on. So then, with your grapple pilot, you can just hold on the grapple, like so, and then just... He can grab himself away. Next, for the tick, you want a one by one cylinder, a two by two cylinder. Um, four of these levers and a two by two bottom, so, like smooth piece. So you want to get your brick. Oh, I just hit my light. You want to get your brick. Attach four of the four of these. Just attach. Come on, like so. 
These will be the legs for your tick. And this piece will just fit right on top. So then it gives a smooth edge to the tick. So that's your tick. So for the bank, I'm going to do this in sections. Like I won't take this all apart. So you have the legs and you have the body. So for the legs, you want a 2x2 two two turntable, four of these leg pieces and one of these spider things. Arrange them like so. So that's that. You have then for the main bit. So section one, section two, and then that's the base. Base is made up of two four by four round plates with these two p with the one by one round plate and a one by one cheese slope arranged like so. Then for this, you want a one by two brick with four studs on each side. So on one side you want a one by one cheese slope and a one by two plate, see through preferably. And then on the back you want one of these bars, fit it on, bar bricks, on, it, on, on here. You want a one by one headlight brick with another lever for an antenna. Attach that onto there and attach this piece onto there. And then that will just fit on top. And this, no, hang on, there it goes, that will fit on there, and this will fit up there. And then assemble them together, and there you go. Okay, I'll just do this off camera. So for our first Titan, we have the Ion. So, quick 360, just around. So that's that. So we got the eye arms movable as they are on ball joints legs for ball jointed um with i'll show you the gun in a bit i'll just take that gun off for now there we go just a little bit fiddly so for the opening it just opens up the top and at the front and you can get if you want to put your guy in. I'm just going to take my stim for now. As he has the jump pack, you need to take the, the jump pack right off and then put the head back on. And then he just stands up right in the Titan. That just comes up. That just comes down. Actually, that has to come out a little bit and that falls down. So there's that, here's the laser thing, and there you go, got the boosters, and also two ball jointed boosters in there, using nickel joints, and that is the ion. For our second titan, we have the tone, as I always do, quick 360, that's the back, that's the legs, that's the side, so I'll go from top to bottom. Here's the rocket launchers, for the movable, the sonar pulse, and these can just move around. You can tuck them away, just fold it down. This is just like so. Just clip this around. So that's then tucked away. Um, there's the gun, the 40mm tracker cannon, got all the DS2 ammos. If you take that off on the opening, this will just fold out. I'm going to take my grapple right there. So that goes in, it folds up, fits perfectly. Legs, fully articulate, has senseless ball joints, and that's that. So that is my Mega Titan Fold 2 showcase for, for now. I will be making more but probably on Fortnite since all of you guys like Fortnite. So, before I leave the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and just, if you want to stay tuned for more content, make sure to join the notification squad, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.